Phoenix is one of the hottest cities in the U.S., and it's just getting hotter. Another unseasonably warm day around the valley today. The city is trying to address it. In 2020, they partnered with Arizona State to test cool pavement. The idea, while the blacktop absorbs the heat, a gray coating could reflect it. It's a big day for Phoenix, 100 miles of cool pavement. The mayor joining with the city's street transportation department last summer to mark the milestone. But as Arizona's Family Investigates reported, the initiative has had mixed reviews. I've called the city to complain about it and they said, well, it's supposed to lower the heat and I really haven't seen any difference. Anything that can be done to help this city cool down should be done. We first introduced you to neighbors Deb and Katie last summer. Turns out ASU's research on cool pavement is also mixed. While Phoenix touts that the coating can make the ground nearly 12 degrees cooler, it also found it makes it hotter for pedestrians who absorb that reflected light. They also concluded that six feet off the ground, the air temperature is only three tenths of a degree cooler during the day. Given those trade-offs that the research found, some might wonder why is the city moving forward with cool pavement? Well, I think uh, paved surfaces uh, comprise about 40% potentially of our urbanized area. So there's a lot of area that we can address. That's Ryan Stevens, an engineer with the Streets Department defending the program last year. But they didn't tell us at the time they'd paused applying the stuff due to thickness and texture issues. Then in May, we followed up and kept following up, learning no cool pavement has been installed this year, and we're more than halfway through the paving season. Their explanation? Additional testing once again found issues with the sealant. They now plan to switch to another product, but they still haven't said where or when they plan to apply it. The Streets Department declined our repeated interview requests. Vice Mayor Deborah Stark, the chair of the Transportation Subcommittee, agreed to talk. She offered a different explanation for what's behind the holdup. On the sidewalks, it tends to reflect and there was some heat effect from that. And so we want to try to address that. That's exactly what Arizona's Family Investigates reported a year ago, that the cool pavement could be making people hotter. We still need to address that reflectivity issue. And so they're looking at a new compound to try to address some of those issues. The city says it spent $15 million on the program so far. While they explain cool pavement is only applied on roads that are being repaved, the coating costs about three times more than the traditional one. Is that a good use of taxpayer money? I think so. Again, we have a, a critical problem in our city, the urban, urban heat island. I think we need to combat that. But what's been a real outcome of this is that we found a product that actually lasts longer than the typical mill and overlay. But does it? We stopped by five different locations that have been treated with it over the last four years and checked in with neighbors. I could tell you it's not like a big difference for me. I thought it was going to stop certain things, maybe the cracking and stuff like that. What grade would you give it? An A. I mean, it's good. I mean, it looks kind of bizarre, but I like it. You could clearly see where it had been put down in 2022 and 2023. Well, it's warm already. Yeah, it's, it's, gone, it's gone pretty fast. Then there's Esteban Park, the first place where cool pavement was put down. Could you tell? We sure cut it. After verifying with the streets department we were in the right place, we took photos, which we then shared with the vice mayor. When I saw those pictures, I thought maybe we need to get a little update on what's going on. I still have great hopes that this is a program that we need to do and that we're going to overcome any, any obstacles. As for Deb and Katie, what do they think of it a year later? I think the cool pavement is wonderful. It's a great step. I just wish that it were a little bit lighter. Do you think it's made anything cooler? Absolutely not. The whole neighborhood's like, that was a waste of money.